last time Texas had a day without any deadly crashes was the same year George W. Bush became president. Texas lawmakers recently passed a law banning texting and driving with the goal to save lives. But as KXA and Steffi Lee shows us, the people behind the law want it strengthened in the next session. His empty chair at our table is a constant reminder that our family is not complete. For the last 10 years, Jovi Masters has relived the pain of losing her son in the hopes of saving other lives. She crisscrosses the state sharing how Travis was texting on his phone while driving when he crashed. We all make a choice when we get behind the wheel and that choice can possibly end up in your death or possibly even killing someone else. His name joins dozens of others on this memorial wall at the Texas Distracted Driving Summit. We get a license to drive, but it's a license to kill if you really don't use it responsibly. Ever since I lost my mom 10 years ago in a crash caused by a driver on their cell phone, you know, I've dedicated my life to this issue. Both Jovi and Jennifer Smith were key forces in getting the state to ban texting while driving. Jennifer says there are now loopholes she wants lawmakers to address. People aren't texting anymore. They're taking, and they're taking that word literally. They're saying, oh, I'm not texting, but they're on Instagram the whole time they're driving or they're Snapchatting. And she wants to see a culture shift. People People will pay a fine and not really care that there has to be consequences. People need to understand that there are repercussions from that one simple choice to get behind the wheel and not be focused. Steffi. That was Steffi Lee reporting right now. 47 states have banned texting while driving and 16 states have a hands-free law. And beyond the state law, many cities like Austin have stricter hands-free ordinances.